What's up YouTube, Barcode here, bringing you an air light video. This video is gonna focus on two things. One is gonna be something that nobody talks about really, and that's in the crafting system, and that's talking about mark gear, being able to change your marks to whatever you want, and what the resources are that is consumed to get those specific marks. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is specifically a video on how combos work. I know I talked about it in a different video. I think it was like an overall beginner's guide on how to do things or whatever the case may be, but I just wanna focus a video straight on that. Make sure to check out my Twitch, which is tonight at 10 p.m. Central, also on Sundays at 10 p.m. Central, but tonight is the night, so let's party, right? Let's go into the crafting system. Okay, so now with crafting, crafting these mark gears is definitely like a mid to end game type of progression level when you wanna really focus on using these for many different reasons. One, you don't wanna use all your resources in the crafting these early because you're, you're gonna fall back in progression unless you're whale, unless you're super whale because that's what you need to be in order to get these or just a free to play player over a long period of time, okay? And I'll talk about why. So. You can get any uh, skill symbol that you want for this. I'll talk about you know combo skills and why these are important in a little bit, but you can get any skill you want and this changes your main skill. It doesn't never changes your secondary skill. It's only your primary symbol, okay? So that's something to think about, okay? Now, to get these, you need 75 of these stores of umbras, umbras, right? How to get that, okay? There's two different ways, either with origin nat fives, right? And you need one for 15, okay? Or you can do the origin four stars, which you need five nat fours or origin four stars to only get five of the sources, okay? Now, what does that mean? Okay, to get a new symbol, you need to feed off five nat fives however they need to be that specific mark as you can see a lot of people don't really notice that at first but you need to have that specific mark in order to do that okay now for nat fours same deal okay so five nat fives will get you one symbol but you need that symbol right for nat fours, you need 75, you need to feed off 75 nat fours with that same symbol, okay? That's much harder to do, okay? Plus, if you try to do that early game, it, it, you're, you're wasting a ton, a ton, a ton of resources on fusing, on, you know, skill ups, on transcendence, because there's a lot of great nat fours out there. So it's not really something that you want to do early game, okay? I'm going to talk about why changing your primary mark will make a difference in mid to end game, and that's with combo skills and how they work. Okay, so let's talk about combo skills and how they work. Now, let's go into just a specific character, Water Charlotte, right? On her third skill, combo skills only work on your third, third skill and they depend on what your primary mark is and also your secondary mark, okay? So let's start out, let's say Water Charlotte is gonna be your first and fastest character, right? That she's gonna have her third skill up first, okay? So her primary mark is, people are gonna get on me because I don't know the names of them. So this is the third grader S mark. You know, the S, where you, you make the things, this thing, this this thing, that, yes, that thing, right? You make that in third grade, right? Fifth graders, right? So this is the S mark, right? She's gonna use her third skill. Now, what matters is your secondary mark, okay? So your secondary mark is right here, this swiggly little down arrow, okay? What is important in that is it goes based off of a percentage chance, okay? So if you look into info and the activate secondary mark, it's at 20% for her. So you have a 20% chance for your next servant to combo off of 
Water Charlotte if their primary mark is the same as her secondary mark. Okay, so for instance, if I bring Fire, uh, say I bring Anku, Water Charlotte, and Dark Enoch, right? As you can see, Dark Enoch's primary skill is the swiggly down arrow, okay? If they have a 20%, if, if she uses her third skill, Dark Enoch has a 20% chance, right here, to combo off of Water Charlotte because his primary mark is a swiggly down arrow, okay? Now, this can be optimized and increased, for example, and especially great on supports, okay? So as you can see, Fire Spiegel down here, primary mark is a swiggly down arrow, and the secondary mark is the third grader S mark, okay? So this is what I typically do. I run Fire Hide, Water Charlotte, and Fire Spiegel, okay? Fire Spiegel is my fastest, or second fastest anyway, whatever, whatever you want to do. He will use his third skill. His secondary mark is the third grader swiggly, I mean, those S, right? That's her primary mark, okay? Fire Spiegel's activate secondary mark is a base. All supports have a base of 50%, right? And as you can see, he has an increase in 30%, and that is because he is on double chain. Chain gear, as I talked about before, activates the secondary mark by 15% for every two piece. So eventually when I awaken him to the max level, I want to put gear at least to get to that 100% threshold, which what I heard is I think 90 or 90% or 95% is max, but that's something that I'm going to test anyway. But with this gear has an 80% chance to activate his secondary mark. So 8 out of 10 times she will combo off of Fire Spiegel, okay? Now, something to think about, right, is, let me go into world map, something to think about is if you have two servants on the same primary mark, then that matters, okay? It definitely matters, okay? So I'm gonna go into, like, Fire Hide, right? And then I'll just bring Dark Enoch and whatever fire uh, no not that water charlotte like i talked about right so in this case right water charlotte's secondary mark is this wiggly down arrow okay fire hide and fire speakle both have that mark okay now this is where position of your team matters so water charlotte's the fastest she's gonna use her third skill has a 20 percent chance to activate a secondary mark now, they both have the secondary mark, so who do you think goes first? Well, that's when position matters. Whoever is in this front spot and whoever is put into the team, you know, first or before the other person, that person will combo first, okay? Just a tidbit, by the way, just another addition. If you have two combo skills that are up at the same time, Whoever the faster servant is, is gonna use their combo skill first. So think about that when you're building your team comps, right? But anyway, so what you can do, because your tank doesn't necessarily need to be in the front every single time, it, it, that doesn't matter. It's As long as they have the tank class, they can be in the back and they'll still have this aggro eye. So like I said, I'll bring in Fire Spiegel and place him first, and then I'll do fire hide and you see the the aggro is there so position of the tank doesn't matter for aggro it does matter on position of the field and that's a whole different topic but now in this setup if water charlotte uses her third skill fire spiegel will have the priority of secondary comboing off of water charlotte okay now that's just the two times combo now if you think about it if you bring in someone else, like as you see Fire Spiegel's secondary mark is the third grader, fifth grader S mark, right? You bring in a fourth person, just for example, uh, a, a dark Father Hopkins, right? He has a primary uh, symbol of the S, okay? To get a three combo, this is what would happen. Water Charlotte would use her third skill, then it would go to Fire Spiegel, 
because of the secondary mark being his primary mark. And then since the S mark is also Fire Spiegel's, Dark Hopkins has a chance to activate that secondary mark. Okay, so currently in my setup now, Water Charlotte has a 20% chance if she went first to combo off of Fire Spiegel. Fire Spiegel, or no, sorry, Fire Spiegel has a 20% chance to combo off of Water Charlotte. Then, if that does happen, Dark Hopkins has an 80% chance to activate the secondary mark to have a combo of three, okay? There is combo of four as well. You can get a combo of four, but this primary mark, this wiggly down arrow, which this is the, this is the perfect team for, what, for it to happen, Fire Hide has a 20% chance to activate a combo four. As you see, because Dark Father Hopkins has a 20% chance to activate his secondary mark to get Fire Hide to combo. Okay? That's how combos work. And a lot of people are still kind of confused on it. There's a percent chance chain helps that tremendously. Okay? Now, when you get in the mid game and end game, that's when you have all this great gear, awakening to the fifth level, have eight pieces of gear. You can run, you know, win double chain, or you can run you know triple chain and life on a, on a tank or petrified double chain or whatever the case may be right that's it you have a lot of theory crafting to think about over time okay now when would you use the change marks well that's what i'm going to talk about right now to end the video is situations where you would want to change that mark okay so let's talk about when you would want to use the change marks, right? Because a lot of people don't think about that. So, my Dark Lucian, okay? For her, primary is an up arrow, secondary is a down arrow, okay? Say I want to run her with uh, my Fire Lucian. Fire Lucian A, sorry, because she has a revive, she has a heal, she has a strip, she has a lower attack, you know, she has a res, and she has an attack buff, right? It, she's a great unit, okay? She has the same primary marks, okay? Now, I wouldn't really focus on this early game, like I said, because it's just a lot of resources wasted and you could progress a lot faster if you use those in different areas, right? But, for example, maybe I want to choose to change the primary marks and the secondary, I mean the, the primary mark of her, because once Dark Lucian uses her third skill, it's the same primary mark as Fire Lucian. So when she uses it, which she'll use it a lot because of her passive and she's a speed-based nuker, right? The Fire Lucian A, every time you use the same primary mark, everybody else is of the same primary mark, the skill gauge lowers, right? So this is when you might want to change Fire A Lucian's primary mark to something else, right? And that could be to your tank, if it's, uh, like a, a really good third skill of a tank or if you're in IPVP you might want to use it change it to like a secondary um, you know like a secondary mark uh, of someone a primary mark of someone else if that makes no yeah of, of another speed based person so that she can combo off of somebody else or she can just change or she, she doesn't lose skill gauge when Dark Lucian uses her third skill. You know, there's a lot of different things that you could do. Preferably, what you would want to do is change it to something that's not being used. Or to another speed bay person. Um, I mean, it could be in the Water Halo. It could, you, could, you could do Water Halo. And you could, do, you could change it to a down arrow. Right? So like, for example, maybe Water Halo is faster than Dark Lucian, right? Or for just as an example, Water, because Water Halo is typically the fast person on the team, right? So you can get the AOE silence off. You change the um, primary mark of Fire A Lucian to a down arrow, okay? And put, you know, Eruption and Double Chain on Water Halo, have an 80% chance to proc the secondary mark and, and since her primary mark is now a down arrow, she would then 
res anybody if she would need to and increase the attack of all allies you know it, it's there's a lot to think about when it comes to theory crafting there's so much potential into changing marks depending on your team comp there's a lot of different team comps that people can use you know there's the meta you know there's water valk water arc angel and forest ace sphinx or light ace sphinx you know whatever the case may be but there's a lot of different team comps that can actually work as well and you know the top players are showing the, sh the showcase of there's a dark lucian there's carmilla's there's there's all you know there's dark rim there's there's all types of different scenarios that can work so that's pretty much the tidbits of change marks and combo skills and how they work thanks for tuning in i'll check you guys in the next video peace